What is good, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to send your tracks off and prepare your tracks to be sent off for mastering or uh, if you do beats, how to uh, break your beat down to stems. This works either way. Um, basically, in order to get a mastering or in order for somebody to rap on your beat, they need each individual track. So uh, when, when you're sending a song off, it's somebody can't you can't just go mix down mp3 because everything will be uh compressed in one file you need each individual file so uh in order to do that all you got to do i'm gonna show it for mixcraft 8 and 7 for mixcraft 8 you go to mix down the stems save yes um you put this is, this is these are what your uh options are going to be most likely put it at uh put it at zero db if you're sending it off for mixing and mastering because the mastering and mixing dude he's gonna do that um by itself mute track effects set pan all of that that's if you have these on so um ignore track automation that's basically the uh anything that's going on right here if you like raise the volume or something effects ignore effects I, I think that's the same thing as that I don't know what this clip thing is but these are the main three things that you need to do so there's is completely unedited vocals that's what you're trying to do if you're sending it off for mixing and mastering then you're gonna want to name it whatever the song is uh, let's say leave me LMA preferably wave there most most of the times they'll tell you to send it off in wave because that's the uh the highest sound quality but if you can't then if your computer can't take that mp3 but wave and then you're gonna you're gonna export both of these as you see how they're uh checked this is everything that's checked are the one that's getting exported like this this audio track is not tracked so it's not gonna export it so you're gonna export these to a folder so you got to make a folder new boom LMA now we're gonna come over here and go to the output folder and find that folder LMA boom then we're gonna mix it down to that folder it's been mixed down and here they go now that's for the mixcraft 8 if you have seven, it's no different. You go to copy project files to boom. Oh, let me uh delete the contents out of here. All right, copy files to folder. Find that folder again. Boom. Uh, yes, yes. Would you like this? Yes. See. See it put I think that that one's way better because it put um it put the um the project file in there. When a project when a mixcraft project file's in there, that means everything is gonna instead of the engineer having to piece things together, I mean this is if the engineer like me. I like when people send me the the project files. So instead of me having to piece everything together, because sometimes um vocals will come off beat but if you send a project file it will it will have it it's like a blueprint it will have it in the right correct place exactly how i pull how you pull it up is how it's going to pull up for me so yeah this is how you do it in the mixcraft 8 one i think this is specifically for mixcraft users to send like this is for the mixcraft users to send to uh everybody whoever else have mixcraft and then this is to send off for like professional people, you know, throw it in Pro Tools type stuff. So um, that's basically how you send off your stuff. And then from here, you would convert it into a RAR file like this because you can't, you can't email this. You can only email these and then you send that off and then, yeah, you get your track master. This is basically the end of this video. Hope this helped. Like, comment, subscribe. More videos to come.
uh, Instagram at I'm Dices. If you want me to mix and master your song, I Trust Dirty, hit me up in my email for that. And I'm out.